What is good? It is party time. Today we are going to go over the top 10 baseball cards that went up the most. I'm talking about ones that had the highest gains in the past seven days. You're going to want to see this because this shows trends and it is, there's some good stuff to take away from it. I will say that much. Uh, I have an announcement to make. I've made this announcement. I want to remind you I have, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm giving away an NFL Prism Cello Pack. And in order to end, I'm going to do the draw. I'm going to pick the winner on February 7th. In order to enter the drawing, you need to follow me on YouTube, leave a comment on this video or any of the videos. Actually, the more videos you leave a comment on, the more times you're entered. But you need to follow me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, and then follow me on either Twitter or TikTok, whatever your social media platform of Chizois. Uh, also, I want to remind you of the Sports Card Society where almost every day I send an exclusive video to my members outlining a sports card investment that I think is a really good opportunity. Here's one that I recommended back in December, Nikola Jokic. Uh, late November, actually, and early December, I was get, we were getting about 350 to 400 bucks. Today, that baby is going for yeah, over 1000 bucks, so that's pretty good. Uh, recommended the Tatis Tops update and Tops Chrome update. Tops Chrome we were getting for about well less than that actually because I was recommending it before this. We were getting for around seventy five bucks. The latest one sold for almost two hundred bucks. So some good stuff to be had there. Plus members of the society get discounted PSA grading. They get twenty day PSA grading for just twenty five dollars. Now on the PSA website, twenty five day grading is fifty dollars. So a lot of good to be had there. It's only nine dollars and ninety cents a month. And actually, I'm going to be raising the price very very soon. So, but if you, you lock in a nine ninety nine if you sign up now, but I'm going to be raising that price very soon because I realize this is this is this is a lot of value and I just need to charge more for it. Plus, we had, all right, let's dive into the data. Uh, by the way, please give this video a like. I really appreciate it. You are awesome. And go ahead and subscribe because that is also how you enter for the giveaway. Now, that's basketball. We're looking at baseball. Whoops. Hope you didn't see all of it. Number one, the number one card that went up the most was Randy Johnson. Yeah, you already see Derek Jeter down here. But you know what? We got 10 to do. So hang on to your boots. Is that a saying? Is that a thing? I don't know. Yep, we're going to go with it. Randy Johnson, 1989 Don Russ, PSA 10. That baby, and he's a Hall of Famer. The big unit is up to $107 in the past week. Let's take a look at him on his chart. By the way, here I am, and this is the Market Movers tool that I'm using. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off. Most important tool I use in sports card investing, period. Uh, 1,187 is the population count on this. That is pretty dang low, especially for the junk wax era. Uh, as you can see, this baby down here is going for 63, 69.70. Got up here to a Hondo, dipped a bit, went back up to a Hondo some. I'm gonna actually bring this chart back to the beginning of the month because that's when the baseball market really started to get en fuego, en fuego. 56 bucks. Hmm. And this makes sense because we started seeing the modern market go up uh, late December, early January. And then to follow that was the vintage market. Guys like Griffey, um, Jeter, um, of course, the Mickey Mantle big sale just happened. So all that kind of stuff. So it's like, that's what I was recommending to my members was, hey, you know, let's look at some Let's look at some other legends, some other Hall of Famers baseball cards, because those are going to start going up too. Because as, like, say, Griffey starts going up or something, and, and Jeter and some other older guys that are in the Hall of Fame. Is Jeter in the Hall of Fame yet? I think so. Anyways, but you get my point. If he's not, he will be. All, all guys like that, when they start going up, well, rising tide lifts all ships. So these other guys, like Randy Johnson, all these other studs, go start going up. And here we see that happening in this past week, really. Uh, yeah, in this past week is when it really started happening. So look for other guys like that would be my, is what I'm going to do. Next, Derek Jeter, 93, top space, PSA 10. That has went up, whew, healthy 70% up to about almost $1,600. Let's pull up his chart here. There it is. Let's take a look-see. Jeter, hmm, he's so young. It doesn't even look like him to me. Like if I, that does not even look like him to me. Anyway, so it was on, under 1000 to start the week, and now it's just been going up. Well, 16, 30, 99. Let's pull up. Let's see what the gap is between his 10 and his 9 here. Because this is a... I'm going to pull these both up here. Again, this market movers tool is, is very, very valuable. So it looks like... Whew, that has a humongous population count on the 9, though. The 10 is much lower. I'm sure that's... So that gap... Typically, I'd want to see that gap somewhere around like 3.5. 
but it's a big gap. Now I would say, whoa, that's a good buy, but this population count is so damn different. With that being said, that is a big ratio difference because typically I would want to see around three and a half, like I said, although the population count differences are not usually this big. So I would expect this to be more, I would say like five, maybe six at the most. So I'd say in my estimation, this would still be a good buy, especially since this one just started taking off. It's going to start getting out of people's price ranges. And so they're going to go, well, I want Jeter. I'll get the nine then. Fine. I'll get the nine. So this is going to go up too. I don't think it really has yet. So let's look. So what was it here? 80 bucks. What is it right now? 191. Okay. Yeah. That started going up. Actually, it went up quite a bit. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What was the ratio here? 80 bucks to say 90 bucks. Now we're looking at 200 to, all right, so that ratio is kind of flipped. Maybe I wouldn't buy the nine right now, unless you really like Jeter. If you really like Jeter, if you can get this card for 150 or less, that nine, I would, I would feel good about that. That's me. All right. Number three, Randy Johnson again, 89 upper deck base. That's went up 55%. 17 sales of that card went from about 150 to 230 something, something, something. Let's look, let's look. Mm, okay, yep, makes sense. There's a higher population count on this one than his other one. And it has went, started the week at 154. And most recently, this sale went up to 233. So I think this card just started going because of the other one. Do you get what I'm saying? Because this one took off first. I'll pull this chart up again so you can see it. It started going up there. See what I mean? It started going up here on this date. And then the, and people are like, whoa, Randy Johnson's going up. And they just realized that like today. And that's why the sale's going up. This is the type of stuff having tools like this helps you notice and see these trends in the market. Again, uh, if you like it, uh, link in the description for the Market Movers tool. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off. Let's go to the next one. What are we on? We're on number, that was Randy. Number four, Derek Jeter again. Are you seeing a trend here? 43.9%. Went from 208 to 299. Let's see here. Let's pull her up. That's a pretty low pop count card. Let's look at it. Not my favorite looking card. But whatevs. Whatevs, man. Uh, not a whole lot of sales. 194, 220, but it's just kind of going up. Let's, I'm going to pull that one back a bit to get a few more, a little bit more sales data over the month. One sixty five. One ninety nine. Okay. There we go. One fifty seven. So that's a pretty good gain. I mean you bought this thing at the beginning of the month. Hey oh hey oh. All right. Number five. Chipper. This is one that I've definitely been recommending to my society. I recommended it. We were getting it around forty bucks when we started buying it. And because Chipper, again, another another all timer, you know? He's probably the most recognizable brave of all time. And, you know, he was part of when they went to the World Series several times. They actually only ended up winning one of them. I would say him and Greg Maddox are probably the most recognizable. What are we up to here? Whew, 110. When I recommended this to my society, we were getting it for around 40 bucks. Again, I'm going to be raising the price on that. That link is also in the description. SportsCardSociety.com. Check this out. All right, number six, Mark McGuire, 87 tops base. Did Mark McGuire went up 41.2%. It's pretty good. You're not getting returns like this in the stock market. Not really. Because you can time these cards. You can time these cards pretty well. This one's interesting. Because this really went up. And then for some reason there was a chili dipper here. You ever see the movie Tin Cup? It's Kevin Costner and, and Cheech. God, that's a good movie. I just, it's so, I just like that movie. And it was chili dipper is what he was calling uh, <laughs> when, when he starts having the yips there. And he's like, can't hit the ball straight and stuff like that. Because of the doctor lady. Chili Dipper. Love it. Love that movie. You ever seen it? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Tell me if you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't leave a comment. <laughs> uh, that's where we're at right here. So let's, let's pull, I'm going to pull this one back too because now I'm just out of my own curiosity. I was recommending it back in December, but I'll just go back here for the hell of it. Search. Oh, oh I must have hit the wrong buttons. Da 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 da. Oh, McGuire. Oh, this isn't the Chipper Jones. Boy, I blanked out there. I want to go back to that Chipper. Sorry, I'm taking a sidetrack here. This is me looking at 
card that I bought quite a few of. I just haven't looked at it since I bought it. Okay. But we bought it back in December because we were getting it for around 45 bucks. Interesting. Pretty good game, though. I mean, it was over 100 I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next. Griffey. Of course, we got to see a Griffey on here. You know what I'm saying? 89 Bowman Base PSA 10. Let's pull it up. What's up, Griff Dog? My favorite baseball player of all time. I live in Seattle, although I'm not a Mariners fan. I'm a Twins guy. It's just, you know, my age. Like, he's he's the man. Like, he's the guy playing baseball. Like, that's the guy you wanted to be. He's amazing. Best baseball player I've ever seen. 550. Griffey. Love it. Population count, not so bad. 1,937. Not so bad at all. Actually, I'm going to pull up his nines to see if maybe it's got that Derek Jeter effect where there's like 10,000 plus of them. Yep. Same thing going on here. I wonder what the ratio is. 13. Wait a minute. Now that I would say is a good buy. Because that's ridiculous. Really? The 10 of this is 550. It's Griffey. Or I can get his 9 for 1 13th of the price. Even though it's got a much bigger pop count. I don't... I think that that balances out. This is the type of stuff I look at all the time when I'm recommending cards to my sports card society. Like, you're watching what I do, basically. I'm in here looking for gaps gaps in the market this to me is a gap in the market right the psa 9 looks like a gap in the market to me uh as you can see back here it was going for 38 bucks it's going for 48 so it is not really 409 to 550 so it's went up 34 percent. this went up 26 percent. i'd say that there's still a lot of room on this nine plus it's griffy like i mostly like to buy i like to buy established long-term legend guys because They've done what they've done. They can't tear an ACL. They don't need to prove anything. On to the next. Ba ba bonds. Ba 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 bonds. Of course. I mean, look at this. Look at. Are you seeing the trend here? I'm. We're looking at the top baseball cards graded in PSA 10 that went up the most. That had the highest percent change up in the past seven days. These are none of these guys are active players well, except for Pete Alonso. Apparently, we're going to get to him at the end. Damn it! Didn't mean to show you that. 86 tops traded. Base PSA 10. Let's see what the pop count is on that. Pop, pop, pop. Decently high pop count. Good looking card, though. I like that card. I like I like that year. He was down here at 580. And we got a... Whew, let's look at his 9, too. Let's, let's compare that. Twenty thousand. Whoo wee! Junk wax there. It's the ratio. I wouldn't say it's a buy. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it. But that Griffey I liked because that that pop count. That's well. Nonetheless, that's a total pop count of about twenty five thousand. And I just feel like Griffey's a more collectible guy than Barry Bonds. Although Barry Bonds is in the argument for best baseball player I've ever seen. But he took he took performance enhancing drugs and his head got really big from human growth hormone I don't really care he was amazing and mo and many 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 players at that time were taking that stuff so I feel like it kind of cancels out I feel like he should be in the Hall of Fame I feel like Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame I feel like Roger Clemens should be in the Hall of Fame I feel like Kurt Schilling should be in the Hall of Fame I think it's a bunch of bullshit I think it's a bunch of bullshit that's enough put these guys in they are like the best ever do it but they kind of cheated they cheated that's the way you can put it. I just kind of don't care because it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. The all-time home run leader and the single season home run leader. Not in the Hall of Fame because he made his head get big. I don't really care. I just don't. That's me. Leave a comment. What do you think? I'm sure some of you are just frothing at the mouth at that comment. But whatever. That's how I feel about it. And I know some of you listening feel the same. Next. Griffey, 89 tops traded. Boost. PSA 10. Let's take a look-see. Woo wee! Twelve thousand. Twelve. This is not a card I, of all the Griffey rookies. This is not one I would buy. Now it makes me really wonder how what's the, if that's a pop count on his ten. What is it on his nine? Jeez. Forty. <laughs> this is the true junk wax era example right here. Holy guacamole! Roll me over and. I don't know what, how weird. How what a weird thing I just said. Pete Alonso. This is the only guy that's actually playing that came up in here. They're up thirty-two percent. What's interesting 
is I did a, I did a video a day or two ago, a couple days ago, showing cards that went down the most. No, that's not true. That's not true. The video was the highest number of sales, and Pete Alonzo was number one. But whatever card that was, was down like 11%, 12%. So it's interesting to me that this tops Heritage. I wonder why this Heritage has gone up while other rookies of his have gone down. Maybe it's the look, maybe it's the style, maybe it's a pop count. What's a pop? 1669 doesn't stand out to me as super rare. I mean, it's, it's a good low pop count, but it's not like super rare. I don't know what's going on here. Seems like a good buy to me because, listen, to get this thing graded is and buy it and ship it and everything, it's going to cost you more than 38 bucks. So if you can snag it for, jeez, for, you know, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, I mean, it's kind of like having a no-brainer to me. That's it. Those are the top 10. We had nine Hall of Famer, well, nine legends, and one current player. That is who made the list this week, this past seven days, for the baseball, for the highest gaining baseball cards. Randy leading the way with 77%. Randy's on here one, twice. Jeter was on here twice. They both made up the top four. We got Chipper, we got McGuire, we got Griffey on here twice. We got Bonzi, and then finishing it off with Pete Alonzo. All the links in the description. Again, enter the uh, NFL Prism Cello Pack giveaway. Follow me on YouTube, leave a comment on this video, uh, follow me on Instagram, and of course Twitter or TikTok. I know it's a lot of things to get entered, but listen, you know, do all those things, um, you are entered, and there's the, it, it limits the number of entrants, because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a comment on one of these videos. So if you can leave a comment on several videos, it's basically, as long as you're doing the other things, that's basically several entries. Um, if you want to join the Sports Card Society, the price for that's going to be going up. You know, you get exclusive video almost every day outlining a sports card investment opportunity that I think is good. Uh, you get discount PSA grading. You get access to the private Discord group. I mean, nine ninety nine is a steal for that. Uh, so that's, I'm going to be raising the price on that very soon. And then, of course, if you like this Market Movers tool, the link is also in the description. Use code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month of your first year. All right, that's what I got for you today. Happy sports card collecting. Stay classy. You're awesome.